Hi everyone, today we're going to do an example of a confidence interval where we know the population standard deviation. Let's imagine that I work for a magazine, a high-end magazine, and I want to know the mean income of my readership. So I do a, a survey and I get a sample of 80. And recall again that the idea of inferential statistics is I'm trying to make a statement about the entire population, the entire population of my readership based upon a subset of that population, the sample. So I have a sample of 80 and I find that the mean income of the magazine's readership is $119,000. $155. I do know that the population standard deviation is about $30,000 for this readership as well. So is this a pretty good estimate? Um, is, is there a lot of variability related to this? How confident can I be that this actually reflects the real um, mean income of the readership? Well, I can do a confidence interval which requires me to figure out the margin of error. So recall that the formula for doing this is x bar, my sample mean, plus or minus z alpha divided by 2. And then I'm going to multiply this by the standard error, which in this case is going to be my population standard deviation divided by the square root of my sample. Now. Let's fill in the blanks here. We know that our sample mean is $119,155, plus or minus z alpha divided by 2. So if I know my population standard deviation, I'm going to use a z score, very easy to find, front of the book uh, or find it online. And if you kind of matrix down, um, trying to figure out, assuming a confidence level of 95%, um, so our alpha is going to be 1 minus our confidence level. That's 0.05 divided by 2 is 0.025. And if you do the math on the z-score, you'll find that the value that this comes to is always 1.96. If it's a z-score and it's 95% confidence, then we're talking about 1.96. And then, of course, we're multiplying this by our standard error. And if you were to do this, you'll find that the value that you get is $119,155 plus or minus $6,574. Now what does this even mean? How should we think about this? Well, if you take $119,155 minus 6574, that is 112,581. And if you take 119,155 plus 6574, that is 125,729. So here's how to interpret this. You go to your boss and you say, sir or ma'am, I did this study of our readership and I found that our sample mean income for the readership is $119,155. Of course, the boss says, is that accurate? And you say, well, that's what the sample mean was. But I can be 95% confident that the real population mean is somewhere between 112,581 and 125,729. There's only a 5% chance that the real mean would be outside of that particular interval. So this is an example of a margin of error problem, the confidence interval, where we know the population standard deviation. Thanks for your attention.